BankX owns and control. And so when I say BankX, that's the system of contracts on the blockchain where no one has control of the liquidity pools. It's all uh, monitored, governed, and controlled by the BankX system uh, on the blockchain. And th the inspiration was brought about by Olympus DAO. And then we basically uh, forked, I wouldn't say fork, we we uh, used, started, the beginning part was to use the code from Uniswap V2. And we we made uh, sort of, I think, dramatic innovations on Uniswap V2 with what we do. And you'll, you'll see what I mean as we uh, further discuss how all this works. So with our liquidity pools, we call them integrated protocol owned liquidity because they create autonomous and sustainable liquidity. Uh, what Olympus Dow taught us was that the protocol should own its liquidity rather than renting it because someone could copy your project, offer them slightly more incentives to provide liquidity. So all the liquidity would, would get pulled from one project to another. And so it was, I think, a very important thing for uh, protocols to, and systems and cryptocurrency to start to go that way. Uh, and that's why we designed it the way we, we did. Uh, with, in general, with the system, when we decentralize the front end, um, uh, especially decentralizing the front end will will prevent what I call Uniswap, where they would delist you from the front end. So not only do you prevent people from taking their liquidity elsewhere because there's a better deal on a fork project, but because everything's sort of self-contained and then the end of the system fully decentralized, uh, you'll know you'll always have a, a, a front end and a, and a way to trade bank X or XSD. So for uh, selling liquidity, you get rewards in BankX and XSD. We'll talk specifically about that over a vesting schedule. So we have three pools, right? So we talked about two pools for trading. We have uh, XSD paired against the native blockchain token, and we have BankX utility token paired against the native blockchain token. And then we have a collateral pool, uh, which we'll talk about also. So we give the most incentive for selling liquidity into the XSD pool. And then when that's satisfied, this, the next one is the bank X pool. And then the third is the collateral pool. So when the system identifies that it's in a deficit and needs liquidity in the XSD pool, we pay the most in bank X for you to sell liquidity in. And that is whatever you sell into, you earn 9% in BankX tokens, and your principal is also paid in BankX tokens. And what we do, the sooner you sell in to the liquidity pool when there's a need, we shorten your vesting schedule and give you more XSD. Um, and so an example would be if there was 300,000 in liquidity pool deficit in the XSD pool, the first third, or say the first 100,000, would have a one-week vesting period and an additional 5% in XSD. And then the second third or the second 200,000 would have a two week vesting period and 2% in XSD. And then the final 100,000 in this 300,000 example would just have a, a three week vesting period. So the system regularly calculates um, what is the market cap and uh, there's a percentage of that that needs to be uh, value in the liquidity pool. So those are those are constantly being evaluated by the system and it will identify a need and then automatically turn on those rewards. As I mentioned, the BankX pool is the second priority. And so instead of 9%, you get 8% interest and principal paid in the BankX tokens. And then the vesting period and XSD boosted or additional rewards uh, is offered in the same vesting schedule and breakdown. And so that is the integrated protocol owned liquidity pool system where I pull the integrated protocol owned liquidity, uh, where BankX controls this and monitors and manages everything on the blockchain. No one's involved in that. There's no transaction fees. There's no percentage uh, incentive uh, to provide liquidity elsewhere. I'm, I th certainly think people will uh, put our tokens on other DEXs, but the most rewards are provided to have this centralized, decentralized liquidity pool. When I was designing the system, I didn't see the purpose in having these pools everywhere when we could have a very deep pool um, with, within the system that was managed and controlled by all blockchain software. 
And this idea of integrated is the concept where the liquidity pool plays an important role in the monetary policy.